Okay, so what's up, Pierre gang? I'm back with a video, and before I get started, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and comment down below hashtag Pierre gang, and follow all my social medias down down in the description box. And y'all about to see from today's title what I'm gonna be talking about. And if you want to stay, if you want to listen, you know, stay tuned and don't be skipping through this video, y'all. Watch the video completely because I'm about to be giving y'all some facts, okay? Hold on, y'all. Let me cut this light down. So, this is right from the down cap. I ain't even write nothing down, no nothing. This is just from the, me talking to y'all. Straight off the dome cap, the brain, the head, everything. So, let me first put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Y'all, I need to be doing this before I get started. Okay, so, this is just a talk, letting y'all know some relationship advice and how to maintain a relationship and the do's and don'ts. So, let's just get right into that. So, a thing that I have, if you're in a relationship right now, and you're in a relationship, congrats to you. And if you're single, you know, it's best to stay single. A lot of people say it's best. And you know, they be telling the truth because it is best. But some people do want to be in a relationship. So, to all my relationship people out there that's in a relationship now... I'm just going to be letting some facts out for y'all. Okay, so the number one thing is if you in a relationship and you know, you don't want to... Okay, so how can I say it? Because there's a lot of people that's out there that be judging people off a relationship. The way they be looking, like the other person be looking and that person cute. And it's just like, oh, this person big, this person small. You know... If you out there and you in a relationship and you got that much hate towards other people, don't listen to them. You feel me? Go off your heart and do what you want to do. Don't go listening to nobody. So what if somebody judging you off your relationship? That's your opinion. It's your life and it's whatever you want to invite into your life. So don't be ashamed to you know let the world know who you dating and don't be ashamed to you know i don't even know but i'm just letting y'all know because there's a lot of people out there that's scared to shut a relationship off because they care what others say and you shouldn't care what others say because it's your life once again and you get to bring whoever you want into your life so with that being said and then it was another thing. It was yeah, this was another thing because a lot of people say, "Oh, I don't like putting my uh, I don't like putting my relationship on social media." Listen, it's cool if you don't want your relationship on social media, but then again, you gotta let it be known because what if? Okay, this this not me being insecure because I'm not. It's just I would like my I I would like my relationship to be showing off because you never know what that person you don't know somebody then and then they don't know that you in a relationship and it, and it is people out here that be hiding their relationships and cheating at the same time like that's not right it's not so no me I would like the whole world know that I'm dating this person you feel me I don't want to hide anything because that's because when you go and something break off and y'all end up you know arguing then the truth be coming out because you know you've been dating this person for so long and you ain't know that this person whole time this person been cheating on you 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 feel me 
So, I just like my relationship out there. And there's some people that don't like their relationship out there. Because some people be starting still trying to get them to break up. And you know, all kinds of stuff. So, which is, I get that. But me personally, I feel like if... I feel like if your significant other or social media person and they on social media, I feel like that person has the right to post you. Because y'all on social media anyway. So... And if your significant other not on social media, then, you know, then there's no need to be posting. But if you know that your significant other use social media, the platforms, I feel like I should be posting, okay? Because, you know, it's really not a big deal. It's not, but at the same time, you just want to be posted. That's just the thing with me, okay? So, yeah, and then it's another thing I noticed. Some people will be so quick to break up with their significant other. Like, when they get into an argument. When they get into an argument the first time, they be so quick to leave. And that's not how a relationship works out. I know you get tired of... I know you get tired of that person irritating you and you can't take it no more. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm finna break up. I can't do this no more. You have to fight. If you love that person, you really have to fight for that relationship. And the other person, your significant other, have to fight for that relationship too. And if you see that your partner not having the same energy that you got, then boo boo, it's time to pack your bags and hit the door. <laughs> it's, it really is because you can't be the only person showing the most effort in your relationship. And there's a lot of people out there that's doing all the work and still allowing that person to still not do nothing like it's 50 50 if you in a relationship both of y'all supposed to be doing 50 50 work not just one person and i hate people that sit in a relationship knowing that significant other you know not being 50 50 and they just dealing with it it's just i'd be like oh my god like baby what is you doing <laughs> like what are you doing so, and I know it's some people afraid to leave their significant other because it's like, oh, I've been knowing him or her, him or her for so long. And it's just like, it's so hard to leave, which is, I understand that. I understand it's not easy to just up and leave because you have to understand you're going to be dealing with your heart being broke and it's just going to be sad. You feel me? So, coming from me, I know it's not hard. And it's really not her. But you have to break out of that. And it's your life. And you have to be happy. You can't sit here in misery. And keep dealing with something that you tired of. That's crazy. And a lot of people out there that really do deal with people. Knowing that they tired. Knowing they be depressed. Knowing a whole bunch of stuff. And they just still, you know, in a relationship. And like I said, it's not easy to get out of that. So, I'm not sitting here, disclaimer, I'm not sitting here calling y'all stupid or whatever because I know it's not easy to leave. Okay? So, if you have a problem with your significant other, talk it out. Don't go high and stuff and then keep your stuff inside because if you stay keeping the stuff that you got inside, it ain't going to never, never, never end. So, if you sitting there knowing that you got a problem, address that issue. Don't wait days later, months later, then we all really start arguing, y'all start spitting stuff out. Oh, you did this. Oh, you did that. And when was this? And you come telling me, you know, stuff that happened months ago or years ago. You should have addressed it then when you had the problem. Don't come bringing up nothing that happened a year ago or months ago. And I hate people that do that because it's like, what? You should have let that stuff be known when it happened. Don't come weeks later, days later, months later, years later, all some BS. You feel me? So, like I said, if you if you got a problem with somebody, address it right then and there. And me personally, if I got a problem, I'm addressing it right then and there. I'm not waiting. No, I'm not keeping nothing in. So, that's just the way it got to be. You feel me? It's just the way it got to be, okay? Don't be... It's like... Y'all need to focus on y'all mental health, okay? And don't be around here in this world stressing, crying... And you know, depressed about a relationship, it's time to be happy, okay? It's time to set that sadness to the side and just be happy with your life, okay? And 
Hold on, y'all. Okay. And another thing I pointed out when I was like, don't be so quick to leave. Right. Don't be so quick to leave. Talk things out. It's okay to talk things out. Stop sitting here leaving so quick. That's not how relationships go. And there's a lot of people that's out here that still got that kid mentality and relationships. They don't know how to really do a relationship. Like, they'd be so quick to leave, jump into somebody else. Then, you know, you got to, like, work things out. You can't be quick to leave. So, if you want your relationship to last, if you want your relationship to work, you have to talk. Talk things out. You have to. Ain't, ain't no way you sitting up in a relationship not talking your problems out. And you have no right to leave if you haven't talked your problems out. Like, what? why are you leaving your relationship if you haven't talked your problems out? Now, if that person cheated on you, then, yeah, it's time to hit the door. Because cheating, that's a whole different thing. So, if that person cheated on you, it's time to hit the door. And here's another thing I really want to point out. And, yes, this is really important. So, people don't understand the definition of cheating. So, I just really want to just let y'all know this. And if y'all disagree with me when I say this, that's fine. If y'all do, then that's fine. It's just my opinion. So, I came across, you know, your girl that got way mature and everything. And I came across, I'm like, okay... If you catch your significant other texting, when I mean texting, texting, on the phone texting, and you go to catch them, you know, texting somebody else, and you go into the, uh, the DMs or whatever you call the messages, and they just talking about normal stuff like, hey, hey, how you doing, how you doing, like, you know, and they just talking like on some basic type conversation stuff. It's not cheating, but I still say it is cheating because you going behind your partner back, texting other people. You feel me? So comment down below if you agree with what I just said. And if you don't disagree, me, if you do disagree, comment down below and let me know how, you know, what's your opinion on this. Because I feel like... If you if you do catch somebody cheating, that's not me. Catch somebody texting somebody else, and they just on a basic conversation like, "Hey, how you doing?" I think that's not cheating. I think the other way around, cheating is when you like really like doing a do. You know that's cheating. So if you do catch your significant other texting somebody else, let that be known. Let him know like let her him know like listen. You should have told me who this person was. And second of all, you shouldn't be, you should have made sure it was okay for you. You know, you have to check in. Which is, I feel like, same time, I do feel like you shouldn't have to check in. Because if you take to somebody and you know you're not cheating, then you're not cheating. And here's the thing in my relationship. I don't have a problem with my boyfriend texting other females it's just like if he on that okay so here's the thing and i'm not even about to bring my boyfriend in it so i'm gonna just really like try to sum it up so if your significant other texting somebody and i'm trying to i'm trying to like think of a good example because i ain't trying to bring my boyfriend into this you feel me so if your significant other texting somebody and you know, I feel like y'all done lost my thought. <laughs> I done lost my thought that quick. I don't even know what I was talking about. I done lost it because I really wasn't trying to bring them in here. You feel me? You a significant other and you catch your significant other cheating. Not Why do I keep saying cheating? If you text, if you, oh my God. If you, if you notice that your significant other texts somebody and like oh i know what i was talking about okay back 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 so if you catch your significant other and y'all i really lost my thought <laughs> i lost my thought that quick <laughs> okay we just gonna 
you know, scratch that out. So back to what I was saying. Don't be quick to leave. Talk that stuff out. If your significant other cheated on you, you stupid because why would you be with somebody that cheated on you? And that's because they apologized once. Don't think they're not going to do it again. Because once you cheat, they're going to do it again. And that's another thing is... You know, don't just break up with somebody because you see your significant other texting somebody else. That's not really cheating for him. But that is going to be a problem because you should have checked in with me to make sure. And long as they not on no like, you know, oh, let's link up or oh, when you free, oh, let's get on the phone. Now, if they talking about, oh, let's get on the phone, oh, let's link up. Oh, let's do this, then that's cheating. I don't care what nobody say, that's cheating. Simple. Now, if you just having a little basic conversation like, hey, how you doing? You know, just a basic a basic conversation, then that's really not cheating. But at the same time, that's that's still wrong. You feel me? Because you know, knowing me, I don't want my significant other to text to nobody. But you know, I gotta I gotta stop that. I gotta stop being insecure. I gotta stop that because you know you have to trust your significant other so if you don't trust your significant other then I don't think that's the best spot for you to be I don't think that's the best spot and I kind of do I kind of do say that you do have to watch out for people but if you don't trust your significant other then you don't need to be in a relationship simple and it's like I trust my significant other because I know he will not cheat on me but I you know I don't have a problem with him texting other females as long as it's like a hey you know you know they <laughs> they like saying hey and hey and bye type stuff but if I catch you and you saying what's up let's link and you know what's up Let's do this. What day you off? And they planning the link. That's cheating, boo boo. I don't care. Now people say that's cheating if you do the do. No, that's cheating if you text in that person talking about someone. Oh, let's link up. Let's link up. No, honey, that's cheating. And look, <laughs> cheating for sure. So, <clears throat> y'all, this gonna wrap it up. I know I was everywhere. This is just nothing but a relationship slash advice and how to maintain a relationship. You feel me? And if y'all want part two, comment down below because your girl will give y'all part two if y'all want part two. And that's going to be it for real, y'all, because I had to just throw this out here. Just throw it. Like, <laughs> throw it. You feel me? So, yes, I will be back with more videos. And make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe once again. And let's see how many subscribers I'm at right now. You know, I always share with y'all how many subscribers I got. So, I am at... Y'all really be showing me some love. And it's just really like... It touches my heart. I just want to just cry. I just want to just cry. But I am at 742 subscribers. 742 subscribers. Yes. Your girl is making it. You know, your girl is making it. <laughs> I cannot stop clapping. Your girl is making it. And I'm going to be back with more videos, you know. And yes so that's gonna be it and i love y'all i love all my supporters i love everybody that's keep supporting me keep showing me some love i just love it i love y'all so much and i'll be back with more videos and this is gonna be it mm, bye y'all b-i-t-c-h because that's what you gonna call me when i'm tripping anyway you know you can't control me baby you need a real one in your life the bitches ain't